Tyler, take me through tonight's performance and just what you're feeling after. Uh, honestly, man, it's just a blessing, man. Just first night game at Clemson, Death Valley feels unreal. I'm still trying to comprehend it right now, but we got to keep going for sure. Can you take us through that touchdown reception early in the game? What, what was kind of the route? Kind of the throw from Kate, what did you see? Oh, yeah, that post route, man, play. He actually uh, changed the play. He's so smart, man. He, he changed the play from what it was. But he's seen many. He's seen that post is going to be wide open. We've been practicing all week in practice, and we made it happen. What was the route going to be? It was a, It was supposed to be a, a little box fade, but he checked it to a post last minute, and we made it happen. Yeah, it was kind of the back of the end zone a little mm -hmm. bit. Like, did you feel like you, you, know, you got your feet in there? I mean, I was kind of waiting for the uh, the referee signal because you know I did I did feel that uh, that goal post, but you know when he gave me that signal, that's when it that's when it hit me. You know, the lights went off. That's for sure when it hit me. You know, you're a local kid from Greenville. You wear the number six, DeAndre Hopkins, obviously, big time receiver here. It was just a huge day for you. How special was tonight at that Valley? <clears throat> Very special, man. My first one, first night game, coming off last last week's game. Good punt return, man. We just we just got to keep growing as a team. You know, I feel like we are doing that. Yeah, and obviously Nate started the day, started the night with a bang with his interception return. Just how like relaxing was that for you guys to just come out to the defense, step up all night long, and how much confidence did it just give the offense to take that uh, energy? Yeah, man. Number two, he's a dog, man. And when he got the interception, you could just see the the excitement in our um, on our sideline. It definitely gave us the spark that we needed to get going. And he's just a dog, man. I'm glad to be on his team and not on the other for sure. Obviously, there was a high of that touchdown or the low, the muff punt. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, what was the feeling after that? Did you have the feeling like, man, I need to make up for this in some way? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure, man. Honestly, Coach Swinney, he, he definitely uh, relies on the fact that don't keep, don't let your highs be too high, don't let your lows be too low. You know, we just got to keep working, keep pushing forward, and don't let, don't let little things like that get to you. He gonna, he gonna coach us for sure, but you know, we got to keep going at the end of the day. So, how did it feel then when you have the 52 yards return? Um, does it, does it feel like? Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely some, definitely some pressure off my chest, off my shoulders. But you know, we got to we got to go correct that in practice this week, man. We're gonna be practicing those punt returns for sure. Uh, honestly, man, I, I was gonna fear catch it, but then I, I had looked down for a couple seconds and no one was in front of me. So I seen one guy I had to beat and ran around him and made it happen. What, again, you talk about being surreal and just wrapping your head around it. What is it like making plays like this? Like, do you hear the, the crowd and does it feel real? Like, when you're making them at this point, being a freshman? I mean, honestly, yeah, you hear the crowd, but you know, at the end of the day, 100 yards is 100 yards. So we play, we play our game and we just keep going, man. When I got here, Kay told me, man, 100 yards is 100 yards. And throwing practice we make is the same throws we make in the game. So I really appreciate that from him. How did it feel being a upstate kid to, to get the end zone and just help this team win this game? Honestly, amazing, man. Just being a uh, being an upstate kid, we coming deep, man. Forty minutes down the road, my whole family's here, man, and just family, friends, and putting on for my city. I just, I just very, I'm very thankful for that. Are you at all surprised at the success that you've had so quickly here? I mean, sometimes people have to come and wait their turn. You kind of had success pretty quick. Um, I wouldn't say surprised because of the work I put in before I came, but more, more, more so blessed, man. You know, I just. I keep my faith, and that's definitely bringing me a long way for sure. What does the confidence meter register now that you're ready to go into a game that's going to be a little bit different than this? Uh, next week's a little bit different. How important was it to see the offense have the success that it did in that game? Oh, we're growing, man. We're growing each and every day, day in and day out, and just seeing seeing us grow gives us the, give us real confidence, man. K playing some of his best games, and just seeing him grow as a as a player and a person, just amazing to see. And we're gonna keep it pushing for sure. Tyler, what's it feel like to just get in the end zone here in Death Valley? Uh, amazing, man. That night game, when those lights go off, you I, I was actually in shock if you actually see it on the news or something, but I was in shock at first. I, I thought, because I ain't going to lie, when the ball's in the air, it felt like it was in the air for way longer than it was. So when it came to my hands, it was actually like a, a relief off my shoulders, man. Just, get, just to get that first one, man, felt amazing for sure. I need to do it again. Kind of like a dream come true to kind of do two in one night. Oh yeah, for sure, man. I've been, I've been working, man, and just, just see that pay off, man. It's just honestly a blessing. For sure. Do you think from a passing standpoint, you guys are getting where you want to be? Because obviously that's what a lot of people think is the missing link right now with you guys. Is just 
you know, having that continuity on offense? Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Like I'm saying, we're growing as an offense, we're growing as a team in general. K getting more confidence. I just love to see that, man. We just we're going to continue to grow each and every week. How, how big was it for you guys not to have a turnover tonight and to know, at least from an offensive standpoint, you didn't turn the ball over and you, you helped your defense out? Definitely big, definitely big, man. We, uh, Sweeney definitely uh, goes on about that turnover margin, man. We we tie the turnover margin, then we're a pretty good team. But when we win the turnover margin, we won't lose, man. We That's definitely a big part of what we do. Talked about being a Greenville product. You're only 40 minutes down the road. You're a true freshman getting major playing time for one of the most important programs in the Southeast. What's that feel like for you? Uh, man, surreal, man. Just... It's, I'm starting to finally get comfortable, man. But when I first got here, it was just it just took me a minute to just take it all in and just wrap my head around what's going on. But just honestly a blessing, man. Man, I've been, ever since I got here, I've been getting closer to God, and it's just everything's just going so smoothly. It just feels surreal for sure. Definitely had a good second half as a team last week, and today a complete game. Just seems like the Duke loss seems like eons ago. Just shows you how well the confidence is built by the coaching staff and players. What are your, what are your thoughts overall on how the team's done the last six quarters? Uh, honestly, man, we're we're hitting hard. We're hitting hard in practice. We focused. We focused up, and we're just we're just getting better as a team. And I just love to see that. See K grow. See our defense grow. Our defense, man. Going against them boys in practice definitely gives you some confidence for sure. For sure. Tyler, coming off this one, what's the energy among the team like going into Florida State this week? Uh, we definitely we definitely got some momentum, man. We just got to keep things going, man. We just got to, like I said, don't let our highs be too high, don't let our lows be too low, and just keep working in practice and do better next week. Let's do it. Any other questions? All right. Thank you.